be wrong, just a little bit. Okay, I can't just, remember just the percent. Quickly. Wait, oh, it does both. Come on. <laughs> well, the stomp, well, though. Stomp managing to get it off onto the Timberman. Didn't land it on Kuroki, which could have gotten the kill there. Uh, maybe they still get it anyway. The double edge is available. we got to get in a little bit closer, but it's actually Ice 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 who drops. Kuroki's finally going to be able to get some free space here to be able to Mind find control. Up the top lane, and Njibiri is pretty low, but he doesn't really want to get back now as uh, Ice Ice wants to come and get some uh, farm, but will be immediately be punished by Matumaman. DH and Kuroki, and it doesn't look like he's going to get out of this one, to be honest with you. Looks pretty rough to me. He's going to taunt him. Yeah. And <laughs> when my control gets level 6 here in this bot lane, though, it might be uh, a bit difficult. Ooh. Nice, nice, nice. Having more trouble up in this top lane as uh, Matumaman just dives a tower on him, and this Senzo is having a horrible time in this lane. I think that's his third death. Uh oh, Mushi just showed his face. He's going to regret this one as they get the uh, Spirit <laughs> Lance off. Do show that they have a ward there, but what does it matter if they get a kill on Mushi for it? Uh, Ice 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 is teleporting in. Ninja Boogie coming in from behind, doing a lot Kuro. of damage to Kuro. And uh, chasing him through the tree line, Ninja Boogie. Kuro does have the dual breath available if he wants to throw it out. He does actually survive, but they get the return key onto GH at least. Kuroki very low, but Matum Man's not done. He is still chasing down this Centaur Warrior. Or well, the Mango. He's got a Lance, I think. Yeah, and he is going to throw it out. And Ice Ice Ice, he's going to die, die. Oh. Um, <laughs> things aren't going well. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Mind Control fighting out versus Moon. And Moon's going to drop. That's Liquid. What about the stats? <laughs> None oh, comes the out. cask off the creep. Onto Miracle with the net as well. Jab's coming in, although he's just going to call that boat down on himself. And he does catch one of the Meepos with the torrent. Jab's looking a little bit low here, but it does look like Meepo, uh, Miracle's going to be fine. As in comes GH with the heels and Ninja Boogie. He doesn't really know what to do with himself. Things oh. go pretty badly. Does miss the hook shot. Wing and a miss. It was nighttime, so I think that was uh, blind. They're diving him, though. They really want to go. Yeah, absolutely. They've got GH here. Why not? And uh, they will get this kill. And with the uh, overpower. Uh, Mind Control's just not taking a whole lot of damage from anything. Is, <laughs> oh no, Ice Ice Ice, he can't do it. Does finally get it off, but not had not soon enough to actually get the kill on Mind Control. Mind Control just TPs away. They're not even going to lose anybody, and GH is doing a great uh -oh. job. Oh, Jabs goes down in that bottom uh, mid lane. Yeah, and that first death on Meepo always hurts a lot because you really want to try and snowball in. 25 second death timer already is pretty rough, I would say. Yeah, and now's the Conker teleporting back to base, and uh, I think that was his uh, full arm that he's picked up. Oh, and now suddenly it feels like they don't really have the burst damage on Mineski to be able to deal with that because both their supports are quite defensive, it feels like, in the Witch Doctor and the tree. I think we saw this on day one from them where they pitched the tree in the Jakiro, and it didn't really do too much. They lost that game in the end, but they're going back for it, seeing if it works this time. Looks like this tower in mid is going to fall. Middle tower yeah, and that's going to open up so much space oh, for Miracle. Miracle. He didn't get the last hit on the tower, though. My bad in the chat. <laughs> He doesn't care. It's fine. He's just going to run around killing here. X marks off onto Mushi. Actually uses a torrent, which will miss. But uh, the X marks and the uh, boat just about hits. And then he gets the Tidebringer as well. And that's going to get him the kill. But the turnaround is coming in quickly as Jabs is here. Doesn't seem to have a net available. Can but it doesn't really matter. They can finish him off. And yeah. Moon gets the kill. Stampede just came through there. Yeah, one more Meepo. One more problem for the Dire team. The two men and nice. GH coming in onto Ice 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 here. He uses that stun, but it brings him to the top of net worth as well. So oh, no, huge. The exorcism now comes out. out the route. The overthrow as well. Uh, with the exorcism as well, it's too much damage for Miracle to handle. And Kuroki going to go down as well. So Mineski with the turnarounds, perhaps. Great damage for him. He's trying to run away, but GH and Mind Control with that movement speed the Whisk gives. Chasing him down, and the Sentinel will drop. On and now Death, Death Ward inside. Oh, he hook shots out towards Mushi there. And now the extra damage coming in from Jab, so they'll be able to finish off Mind Control and GH. Go they don't die to the Roche anymore. A few patches from a few patches ago. Oh, Moon walks in, but immediately the damage from a Doom and coming out. There's the Overload, and they're trying to bring it down. Moon Shit. will they be able to do it? No, they can't quite. And the tree gets brought down as well. And Ice 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 being hunted down in the middle of this team fight. He's not got any mana left because of this Diffusal Blade, so he's just going to have to die, unfortunately. And oh, now, they get one more as well. The two men jumping out the back to join in. Yeah, they don't tend to live very long when Meepo finds them. Uh oh, Kuroki. Ninja Boogie is here in as well, and he's just going to get his salad washed. Meanwhile, the DP's been thrown up into the air. The boat to follow. Moon is going to. Meepo? You, you need to start heading back, buddy. Well, Mushi comes in from behind, immediately throwing out that Death Ward, and that's actually a ton of damage onto GH. They will be able to pop the Ball of Light, but Matuba Man is still alive, and he's got this Aegis as well. Ice 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 once again just going down in the middle of the team fight. Not a whole lot he can do when he's out of mana. Mind Control just trying to hook shot away, turning it around onto Moon. Moon is out of here. Ninja Boogie just trying to survive. Now Meepo is coming in from behind and will be able to take down Mind Control, but it's now Jabs versus Miracle. Does get the nice net onto two, trying to finish off the Kunker 
Ranger and the Matoom at the same. He's dragging so much attention away. There's not really that good roaming four potential that we see from Mineski. Like the tree's nice, but it's quite defensive. Well, tree will be caught coming in. Gonna try and throw down that overgrowth oh, and with the love. Oh, and the death ward as well coming in the back lines have completely cleared out Miracle and Kuroki. Now turning it around, trying to get Matuman. He does still have this Aegis to only bringing him down once. Meanwhile, mind control waiting in the wings. Moon just trying to block that block that hook shot. No mind moves out the way, allows the hook shot to come through onto Jabs as he gets that net once again, trying to bring down this PL, but it's just too much damage. Jabs is gonna go down Matuman. He just it's gonna oh he's actually dropping this game on the radiant. Do scan out the conquest. They know he's there. They kind of have to run away here, it feels like. Oh, uh, X Marks is onto Ice Ice Ice, so though they're actually going to try and turn this one around as they silence a bunch of them. Good Using overgrowth. that Exism, now the overgrowth with the Death Ward on the sidelines. They're trying to bring down the here comes Jabs. Can they do it in time? Meanwhile, Jabs on the backline trying to take out this Kunker. He knows how much mad, uh, AoE damage the Kunker can put out. If he brings him down, he should be a bit safe in the fight. We'll be able to finish off that Kunker. It, it is a good item on Tree, like, you know, as fun as, fun as it can be. It's actually a very good item on that hero. Many things work with it. Uh, Central Arty has popped. And now they find the hook shot, so I think Mushi goes down in the back here. Um, that's fine. Get yeah, there's it. a flare. And they are straight on their way. Mind control, he's got the hook shot available. They are going to use it to initiate. Naturally gets one of the Meepos with correct target. Immediately side of icing him up, though, trying to get the damage out. Meanwhile, Mushi Good on the back line just trying to do some damage. But look at this boat coming in, everybody! Oh no, Jabs actually managed to stand the Aegis just before he dies and immediately coming back to life. Now turning it around, the overgrowth is there. Jabs is in, trying to do the damage. In comes Kuroki though, he throws down that ice path. Miracle is down, Matumaman as well. Mineski are somehow winning this fight as a stomp comes through onto the Jakiro. And oh my god, it's an ultra kill for Moon. How did they turn that Roshan? ...with that root. And I think uh, Mind Control just messed up his hookshot as well. Good ice path though. They have the site available, they've got oh, the sentry and the X marks as well. Back in he goes, he pops the overgrowth at all the Meepos and with the boat and with the torrent. I don't know, but oh, maybe Mushi. I'm a little dead racing, but oh, nice cook shot onto Mushi here. And uh, with that sensor though, he could just run out of this co- oh, oh, he's got a blink, right? He got a deal ice, ice, ice. Oh, it's big. Hey, they're coming in. Looks like Maneski just want out. They're, they're not really oh, interested. And they find the hook shot on to the... Uh, they actually popped the ulti, but they got the ice bath off in time. And I think Mushi... Let me your hammer comes down at mid. And you have some good vision here as well. Yeah, the yours comes throw out. up the Kuroki here, and now with the Death Ward as well. Just a bit of extra damage on their Spirit Vessel is out. Moon trying to catch someone, and I think Kuroki does go down here. Just grouping up around top. They're actually going onto the tree here. Ninja Boogie is trying to get that overgrowth off. Will be successful. I think they're going to get Jabs is coming Jabs. in, though. He's going to net, and he's going to see. Is he interested? You know he is. You know he is. He's jumping into the Roche pit. He is going now, and who's going to get it? It's actually Matumman who gets the Aegis this time, but Roche does go down to the Meepo. Matumman just fighting it up with jabs, and that one Meepo in the middle getting very low and does get bought down by Matumman. And now they can just go crazy the inside Death this Roche pit without the threat. The Death Ward doing actually a lot of work, and Moon, he's actually clearing up with these ghosts. Meepo buy, buys back as well, so he might come back in here, but Moon's in trouble. Moon is in a lot of trouble as they are chasing him down and trying to take him out of this fight. He's trying to get away. Where can he go? though the ghosts they need to come back soon but they still and this living armor is annoying for the pl to deal with but the illusions can clip it away at it too so it doesn't take too long to get through ice he's been taken down he's uh going down quick and with the diffusal blast <laughs> yeah <laughs> do you see chaps just hiding all the rest of his meepos on the side well maldiction is used oh my god Moose Moose has the aegis and kunka even has the lincolns now as well to be able to try and survive that hex Oh, they smoke up, but there's two heroes right behind them. And Moon immediately pops the ultimate, pops the Shivas, goes straight in on this one. Now comes the ultimate from Jabs. They just run across the high ground, trying to find the Kunker. But in the main side of the fight, Moon gets taken down. Buys back immediately, getting straight in. Has no exorcism anymore, but what does it matter? Meanwhile, Ninja Boogie in the tree lines gets a nice overgrowth up, which is going to mean he lives a little bit longer. I think he's completely trapped there. I'm not too sure. Um, meanwhile... Meepo on the top side of the fight as well as trying to fight it out against Moon. That He's trying to find anyone, but there comes a crit from Kunka, and Mushi gets bought down very for Mineski. I think not as well as they get started on the tier fours. Moon, though, uh, he goes in. Like, yeah, Moon, Moon's ready. Moon's ready. I mean, what, what else can you do in this situation? Uh, Moon's going to go down to the ship, to Matumba Man, to PL. Uh, Ice Ice Slice jumps into the pit. Fight when the Meepo got the Aegis away, and they got the cheese. Like Mineski were going to be able to turn it, but... Mind control. I think he might have deliberately let that creep go actually to get it denied and get the creep wave pushing in his favor. But uh, Ice Ice is taking a lot of harass here from GH and Kuroki as uh, he's going to have to skewer. Oh, nice skewer actually. Cross the river. He does have the salve as well ready to turn back. 
Uh, Jab's now going to take some harass as well, but I mean, these He's two supports. Trouble. He's actually going to... Might have been in a bit more trouble, but still level one on the uh, Magnus, unfortunately. Yeah, Ninja Boogie going to fall in the top lane, though, as uh, Mind Control is able to take... Yeah, he pops the mango as well. Yeah, celebratory mango. Moon. Looks like he's going down here as they do have time. Even Clockwork's having a great farm. Lone Druid's quite happy to farm against DK. And that's down to Jabs. He needs to sit in a lane and really try and win one Look of them. Look at this damage onto Jabs. I on mean, glimpse. the glimpse back as well. And with the overcharge, Kuroki and GH are just... I think Lincoln's first is fine before you start to build into that kind of right-click damage. Ninja Boogie could be in trouble here as Kuroki's just waiting for the glimpse. And then... With the kinetic field and kinetic field in spot inside a cogs, two layers of security though actually gets Paul forced out of the uh, the cogs there. GH. I think by the amount of units in there. Meanwhile, GH oh, hook shot overpowering mind control and he's just not dying. Uh, slips Ice Frog a tenner under the table every game. Please PayPal me. <laughs> oh, great change Patreon. there. Yeah, this uh, Ice 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 could be in trouble here, is uh, shall we? <laughs> Ember is going on top of the sand king as well, but. DK oh, the bear the gets lane. the root on the DK. DK could be in serious trouble here. There's no real way out of this situation for him, so he's just going to have to go down under his towers. Uh, the side of Mineski, and he, if he has a bad start, I don't think this life steal is going to do enough. Ninja Boogie glimpsed into a whole world of hurt. Miracles coming in as well. The uh, destroy um, skill on the bear, so of course, can't go down Mind pretty control. quickly. I feel like this may be more uh, ice, ice, ice in trouble here. It's, yeah, yeah, my control positions up perfectly to get bought back. And uh, they're going to go in with the trolls and ice, ice, ice just hate. Well, heroes down here, though, for Minesh. Uh, Moon's blocking Matuma, and he suddenly realizes that Matuma is going to know something's up, so he has to go slightly earlier than anticipated. GH. And uh, ice, ice, ice has no mana for RP right now, as in comes the Ember Spirit with the triple spirits, and will find two kills for his team. Glimpsing back, ice, ice, ice. He's going to be bought into this as well, yeah. despite his best efforts. And he's also going to be bought as well with Ember the spirit. They're gonna jump right away as Jabs gets a burrow strike, but there's three heroes here and Jabs just can't yet. Major champions, the most recent major champions nonetheless, so there's no no possible way you can uh, count them out. They're actually gonna drag on this wisp, but there's the uh, tether right good back, RP. but it's a good RP onto two and a bear, and they will be able to take down GH. First kill on the board. Now comes in the spirits Very there. It's cool. a lot of damage, and they'll be able to take down Ice Ice Ice. Meanwhile, my control under tower. Is he gonna go down? I think he might, but the Life is going to go down in return. Meanwhile, the Ember Spirit, he's going to get that chains off. Nice ulti from Kuroki, actually, holding Jabs and Moon back. But Miracle, I think he's going to fall here. He just about will. Jabs does fall down. Moon versus the Bear versus Matumbaman and versus Kuroki. And he's actually going on Matumbaman here. Kuroki, what can you do? He's just trying to attack him. He's trying to zap him. That <laughs> Dragon Tail just wants to get in range for it, but can't. And now gets Glimpse back. Torture for Moon now, as he has to uh, fight off versus this bear, but there's so much damage coming in from GH and Kuroki, and in comes Matumbaman once again, <laughs> with that roar, just being a little bit rude. Like this, they're 9k gold in 16 minutes behind, and... Oh no, mind control with the, the relocate. We'll find Jabs, relocate coming in quickly. Matumbaman's here as well, he's got that bear, the Radiance means there's definitely no blink, as if there was any chance anyway. Meanwhile, there is actually a route up onto the Life Stealer. Miracle, I'm very low. Do have the hook shot though, but I don't... bottom lane they're going onto Moon. There's just action all over the map. Liquid unrelenting in their pressure, and they're actually going to find a kill onto Moon here. It looks like yes, they will. But in come Mushi, in come Ice Ice Ice. It's a great RP onto three. One hits Kuroki from that low health position. Now just trying to get away. If they get oh, a root here, oh no, he finds the root, uses the fit, and that is another kill on the number one position on Mineski, oh, my hook control. shot through, Ice 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 thinks, Jesus, where, why is there heroes all over the map? How many players on there are there on Liquid? And Ice 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 just can't get away right now. Well, actually, Jabs will come in with the Burrow Strike and uh, Mind Control. Here comes he's Miracle. Alone, though. Miracle is ready and he's just gonna jump straight away. Finish oh, off Cogs. that kill on Ice Ice Ice. Cogs actually blocked them as well, so oh, Liquid may Kuroki. just wanna fight again. He could be in trouble, open wounds. Ice Path a bit off the mark, but they do find the Burrow Strike and they will bring down the can proc from the Slight of Fist, so it's a Pretty good item on Ember now that it gives some good uh, But Moon good in the damage. middle lane, they're trying to bring him down, they find that root. Mushi coming in from the sides, but Moon's already dead. Mushi going on to GH here, but realizes that this maybe isn't a fight as Jabs jumps in. He just cancels the relocate. trying to get out. I think Jabs just trying to get as much attention off their life stealer as possible as Mushi tries to find his way out of this fight. But GH, he's there. He gives the overcharge to the bear, and they are going to find that root onto the Jakiro, and with a slight of fist to finish it off, Miracle gets a double kill. Mushi, they're still giving chase. RP tempting. Doesn't commit. Oh, the chains. Moosh Ice is in trouble. <laughs> this is 19, 20 minutes into the game, and these barracks just don't stand a chance. I don't think they got the barracks quite as early as last game, but it's still a decent timing. And now onto the bear. Matumbaman being jumped on here. Oh, look at those cogs. Just defends Matumbaman. Oh, the route onto Sanking as well. Oh, uh, now the Macropire. 
tries to defend from something here. Uh, but he's just going to go down as Miracle could die. It's in oh, deep. And meanwhile, it's the Life Stealer caught inside that static field. Oh, it's a RP. nice RP onto two and a bear. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like damage there. Although the ice of the epicenter as well. They have the damage. They can only take down Mind Control, though. It is a really good attempt at a fight. And if it had been earlier on in the game, it would have been a good Give Rampage. Fight. He's going for it. Miracle. Ninja Boogie. He's just attacking him down. And GG is called. And they will actually ice bath up. He's just going to sit still and let him have it. What a champion. Yeah, fantastic by that. I said Orchid at the end. It was the Static Storm, by static the way, storm, with the yeah. silence. But Miracle just gets that good.